That's our own opinion. Check. Not the God's own. Don't be saying about somebody or about what you think. Then the second part. Both sides learning punish both fast, both both poor and fast performers. That is, if you are spending more time on slower learning students and less time on faster learning students, you punish the whole class. Mm-hmm. We disagree. We agree. Very different. Hence, both sides learning will punish both poor and fast performers. That in the class we have faster learners and slower learners. If you spend more time on the slower learners and less time on the faster learners, we will punish the whole class. The next one, poor performing students have something to offer school and society. That is, those who are not necessarily smart in class, do they have something to offer school and society? You can disagree. You can be neutral. <laughs> <laughs> Pay more attention on slower learners or the poor performing students and ameliorate their status. The next one, competition best encourages learning. To encourage someone to learn, is it true competition? Do you agree? Check it, it's your opinion. Another one, cooperation best encourages students. That's cooperation is not competition. You cooperate. You miss the slower and faster learners for them to help each other. Will it help the uh, are the best way to determine potential? Is it only through exams that you know that somebody is intelligent or smart? <laughs> The next one, counselors, psychologists, family structure, and treatment at home are better tools than examinations. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Are you concerned? Counselors, psychologists, family structure, and treatment at home are best tools than examinations. <laughs> Theoretical intelligence is more important than practical intelligence. That is, if you are in a science class and you tell you that to manufacture uh, acid, you have to mix hydrogen and chlorine. You just get that. And uh, you've never got to elaborate to do that. So you know. If I see you that day, you are the next one, practical experience is more important than theoretical intelligence. Someone who learns by doing it, and someone who learns by hearing or by reading. Which one is important? Is it more important to learn by doing or to learn by hearing? So you check. So practical experience is more important than theoretical experience. Do you agree with this? Then the last one. The right teacher is the most important stimulation of quality. The right teacher is the most important stimulation of quality of learning. Because people argue that you must have the right teacher, or you might have a good learning environment, or you might be treated well at home. Uh, are many things. So is it? Which one is the best one? Is it the teacher? So I think coming back to the point